What's going on guys? It's your boy Kev here, back with another video. Tonight we're going over NBA prize picks for Monday the 11th. Um, guys, you know how much I love doing the prize picks. Like I said, trying to kick them out every single day for you. Maybe five or six prize picks a week, depending on what sports we're looking at. Going to try to do NBA every single day. Um, if you're new to the channel or new to prize picks, um, I like to give you guys a little bit of an intro to it, just so you have an idea. So prize picks is like any other form of you know daily fantasy sports platforms, but instead of picking players, you pick overs and unders on the point projections of those players. As you can see, so like Julius Randle is at 44 projected. So you can pick over or under 44, uh, depending on what you think he's going to do. And you can also pick uh, um, another sport to parlay this with. So you can pick it with, say, I switch over to CSGO. I can take Zello for the over of 37.5 and mix that with my Randle pick. You can do this two, three, four, or five times, or between two, three, four, or five players. Obviously, the higher risk you do, the more reward you get. Um, but a, a smaller chance to win. But guys, I love it. I think it's so fun. It's been my new favorite thing to do. Uh, I'm still mixing it up with DraftKings, but prize picks is my new favorite thing. Um, really growing in popularity, I know, across the board um, with all DFS players and followers. So definitely checking out and if you do please use the code dgf that's our code really helps us really supports the channel so we really appreciate it also i've mentioned this every vid but just to let you guys know and i don't get paid for saying this but i just want you guys to be aware that prize picks does match your first deposit up to a hundred dollars so i don't know why you wouldn't just deposit a hundred dollars that's what i did my first time if they're going to match my deposit i'm just going to send the house so throw in a hundred bucks that's a max max uh, match so why not do it especially your first time so now that that's out of the way, now you guys have a general idea of what you're listening to. If you did not, we are moving on to the prize picks for this NBA slate. We are going to start off with Julius Randle with a 44-point projection. Um, guys, I'm going to attack the over on this, okay? We're going to start off on a positive note here. Had his eighth consecutive double-double last game, which is absolutely crazy. He's been playing off the charts. Super consistent player, as I mentioned, averaging 48.3 fantasy points over the last eight games as well. Uh, consistent in minutes and usage. Really like uh, the trend he's going there. He's a above 35 minutes in basically all his games and above 25 usage. So I'm going to attack the over for Julius Randle at 44. That's one of my more favorite picks on the slate. Moving on to someone I hate, Gordon Hayward. I mean, I don't hate him. I mean, I hate the fact he's got glass feet and breaks every year made out of styrofoam. But besides that, I'm not going to touch him for prize picks. We're looking at 37 point projection. And it's just, it's not that that's too high. It's not that that's too low. It's just, he's so friggin' inconsistent. He scored 19 points last game, but he also has points. I mean, it, He's been under 25 points three games this year. That's ridiculously bad. But he also has games of over 50 and over 60. So that just shows inconsistency, and that is why I don't touch Gordon Hayward in just about any single form of DraftKings or, or prize picks or any DFS uh, outlet. So I would stay away from him. That's my take. Uh, good player, but super inconsistent. Moving on, we got my man Jonas with the beard. Love him. So I'm going to attack the under on 32 for the man I love, though, unfortunately. I just think that's a lot um, for him and the way he's been playing. According to his Twitter, he is Corona cleared, so he should be playing uh, Monday. That being said, I, like I said, I'm going to happily take the uh, under at 32. It's a very attainable point, uh, point projection, but... It's a top 10 defense against the um, at that position against the Cavs. And uh, let's be honest, under 32 is not that crazy for someone like Jonas and the way he's been playing. He's been under 32 in five of his last six games. So if you want to talk about being consistently, consistently underwhelming, I definitely think Jonas has been that. So I would personally go under on 32, even though it is a low price point to reach. Let's move on to someone who's, you know, projected a little bit more at 46 points, and that is Andre Drummond. And... I'm pretty undecided at 46, guys. If you want to go either way with this, I could I could see both sides. Drummond is a great player. We know this. He's coming off a huge performance with 24 friggin' rebounds. I mean, absolutely unbelievable uh, big man. He just gets under the glass. And he's unstoppable. Uh, that being said, still was under the 46-point uh, threshold we're talking about right now. So he was also under that 46-point threshold the last five games in a row. So... I mean, I just think that's a little tough to, uh, you know, a, a tough to consider when we're looking at, you know, 46 points is not that easy to get to. Um, Memphis is also sixth in the NBA against centers. So 
if that's something else you want to consider that might uh, lead you astray. So that's why I'm split on that one. I love Andre Drummond. I think he's a great player. Um, awesome, like I said, with the rebounds. It's just that that five-game streak of under, uh, under 46 is a little bit scary to me. Moving on to Giannis, the man himself. I mean, Giannis is the man. He's awesome. But we got to monitor his health, as you guys know. Very favorable matchup um, against the uh, Orlando Magic. Um, 21st against against power forwards. Not something that's super intimidating, but we got him on his health with the back spasms. I think if it's the choice between start and sit him, and you know he's looking like he might be hurting a little bit, they're going to sit him. It's still early in the year. A man of his caliber, you don't want banged up for the entire year. That being said, if he does play and if he makes a miraculous recovery and he's at 100% health, 52 is very attainable for a man of his caliber, as we know. So I really would probably smash the over of 52. But again, that's with a miraculous recovery and if he is you know super healthy because. It's a favorable matchup, but you know health is uh, paramount to success in the sport, as we know. So, moving on, we got Vooch. Uh, Vooch at forty-two. That's interesting. I'm probably going to hit the over. I do like this one. Um, you know, he's playing best. He's he's the best player on Magic right now. Um, we know that he's you know playing against uh, you know it's some. Um, he hasn't played the best caliber teams, but that being said, he's he's playing really well. You know, he's cleared 42 points in four of his last five games, which is his, his projection line right now. So that's good consistency. I do like to see that. Um, and we know that, you know, to be honest, the Bucks are absolutely awful against opposing centers this year. So super favorable matchup. So I probably will take the over of uh, Vooch at 42. Moving on, we have Devin Booker. Devin Booker is probably the spottiest guy in the slate. Uh, I mean, Gordon Hayward might might take that crown, but Devin Booker's right there too. I don't know. It, they're they're both pretty spotty. Um, Devin Booker has hit under his fantasy projection this year, not thirty five, but under his projection eight times of his ten games. That is ridiculous. I mean, that is just underperforming. Uh, I would say smash the under for that reason, especially against a top three defense like Washington. But he is coming off a forty five point game, and this is one of the lower we've seen his projections at thirty five. Thirty five is not impossible to get to unless it's someone like Jonas has showed me he can he should hit under 32 that many times in a row um i mean devin booker's not playing great at all but 35 for someone of his caliber is still a little bit of a reach i think that's still pretty low um so i'm like 50 50 you know i mean if you if you if you want to fade this one that's fine if you're gonna you know pick over under slight slight favoritism to the under just because uh even though it is super easy to get to he has been super spotty and like i said for his usual projections his fantasy projections he's been eight out of ten times under so not playing great uh basketball right now moving to our last player bradley beal so 50 is a lot and i'm gonna take the under on bradley beal this one i am not super confident about i'll be honest he's a stud he's a great player a little ballsy saying the under but he has hit under that more times than not this year and i do think 50 is an accurate projection though if you wanted to fade this one i think that's completely fair i think 50 for bradley beal is a very fair price point i think prize pick prize picks nailed that one so i would probably avoid that one um but if you're gonna take something definitely take uh the slightest slightest favoritism to the under so thank you guys those are the only eight players on the slate right now just running it back one more time we got julius randall at 44 points i'm going to take the over gordon hayward at 37 i'm not going to touch because he's too inconsistent too spotty jonas i'm going to take the under at 32 i know it's low price point but he just has not been playing well andre D drummond i am undecided at 46 for for good reason Giannis we got to monitor his health see how he's doing um it, like I said if he looks 100% healthy I will slightly take the over just because the matchup and how good he's been doing and how good he is the talent is there we know that uh Vooch I'm going to take the over at 42 one of my uh, more confident picks on the slate Devin Booker not going to touch him spottiest guy maybe sans gordon hayward on the slate not going to touch him um and bradley beal pretty accurate projection would like not to touch but if you got it and you're trying to add some more players into your pool i mean take the slight under on him but thank you guys for tuning in love it as always we got some more nfl this week i am so so freaking excited guys we got mma back this week on saturday so it's going to be a super busy week like i said going to be kicking out these basketball prize picks videos every single day so thank you for tuning in if you enjoyed it please like subscribe and smash that notification bell and as always guys let's cash